guys, welcome back to some more Valheim. It has been a little while since we've been here, but I've been doing a bunch of things while we've been kind of taking uh, some time away. And one of the things is I've been kind of planning what to do going forward. Now, we're getting kind of close to the end of the current content that the game has available. And I want to make sure we're getting ready for when new content comes out and making sure we got lots of stuff we can do between now and then. Um, I don't want to start a new series. Really. I want to keep this going just a little bit more relaxed. But one of the things we have to do is we have been kind of bouncing around base to base. We don't only have a main base besides the tree fort. So what I want to do is I really want to start putting together a main base. And you can see here I'm in a really weird little small uh, meadows area, which we haven't been to for a very long time. Now, uh, one of the things I did is we found Yagleth at the end of last episode. He's the last boss. You can see we found him here. You can see I've done a bunch of exploring and now I recorded a bit of stuff. I didn't like it. So I scrapped it. And basically it was just me like searching around these areas. Now, um, all I, all I've been doing here is kind of looking for like a proper place where I want to, where I want to build. And I didn't really find it down here. So then I decided I'm going to go over this way over to where bone mass is. Cause we knew we had some plans over there and I didn't really find what I liked over there. So then I found, uh, right in here, we found another thing that showed us where another Yagla spawner was, which is up here in this island. So then I was like, you know what, let's just go boating. So I went boating up this way and somehow we ended up around all these little islands over here and I found another Yagua spawner here. And I found a little area. It's a nice little uh, meadows here. There's a little island out here next to a plains. We've got a huge swamp here. There's a big swamp here, all kinds of uh, plains here. And it's a really nice area. And I thought, you know what, this is a really nice spot for us to start a big build. And I want to be close to the plains because um, certain things like flax, for instance, have to be planted in the plains biome. So I thought this was a really cool area to, uh, you know, start doing a, big, a bigger, better base. And I think it's a really nice spot. Um, we got lots of room to do stuff here. But the only problem is, at the moment, you can see there is a Draugr village here. And right behind it, there is a goblin camp. So we've got some work to do. It's a super nice little area, actually. I'm really excited to build here. It's kind of on a little bit of a, a little bit of an incline and it's actually a pretty big village. There's what, three, four buildings here. Okay. This one's going to have a spawner in it. Probably this one. Uh, they all just inside. Yeah. Then you can see there's a goblin village here, but this is perfect because like we can put, we can put some, some farms right here. I think part of this probably counts as planes. You can see it kind of turns areas. So like we might be able to plane starts right here. So like we can do all kinds of farming and stuff. I think this is gonna be a really cool area. All right, let's get clearing these guys out. Let's just let's just kick a door open and go for it. Okay, maybe not just kick a door. Maybe not just go crazy, but you know. Right, that's one. Wait, how many spawners are in this thing? Is there like four, five? Is there one in each of these buildings? That'd be crazy. Oh, there goes that door. All right. We'll just get rid of you real fast. Perfect. This neat uh, porcupine and spike thing, it's it's pretty solid. For like level one, like we haven't leveled it at all. It's pretty good. More in there, huh? Is there a spawner in there? I don't think there's a spawner in this one. Okay. Hey you. Oh, all right. Well, we broke the door anyway. Miles just roll in. What's up, boys? Well, let's just break this one. I remember when this thing, when these things were like the absolute like scariest thing ever. Like you couldn't walk. I remember the first time I did one, it took me like what? In the video, it took me like 10 minutes just to clear out one of these buildings because we were so scared to go in. Oh, how the times have changed. Really? You want something now? Oh, I missed. Come on. All right. So that's that building. Uh... Get on food. So the other thing too is we got to start with barley and stuff. We got to start getting better food. Um, 
you know, I've been doing serpent the serpent meat whenever we can, but we really haven't found many. I haven't done the ocean much, even even just when I was doing a lot there. Uh, I didn't find much for serpents. Uh, so, like, I, I think I found one, but I never killed it, and it, like, swam away before I could kill it. So, is this... Okay, that's that building. All right, we got one building left. Is that it? Um, so, we definitely need to plant barley because, like, bah, the best food is going to be... I think it's, like... Well, we found cloud berries now, um, which we didn't have before. So those are basically, let, let us do like lox meat pie and a bunch of stuff, which is going to be huge, huge going forward. And I think that's what we've been really missing. It's just better food. We've been rocking this kind of food for a long time. Yeah, suck on that. Oh, oh. I thought I was home for the desk, we don't. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, okay. That's a lot. Of, what the hell? Wow. Okay, this could be a little bit more of a pain. It's your, it's these stupid spear guys. All right, that's all right. Bone mass is, bone mass is where it's at. We'll just wreck these guys' face real quick. Yeah, I definitely think that's the biggest thing because I'm not rocking really, really good food at the moment. We're struggling to uh, take hits because, well, we don't have the health. Um, but that's okay. That was a great shot. Oh, I wish I had. I wish I had stamina there. I wasn't paying attention. Dunk. Man, I really hate how the whole village just comes out. Like you, you, you shoot one guy, and the entire village just like, all right, let's go. Oh, out of arrows. Oh, that's not cool. All right. Come on, all right. And you're done. How about you two? Are you scared or what? All right, let's play Ring Around the Rosie for a second. Hey, you go in there. You just hide in there for a second. Yeah, let the, let the one star neck take him. <laughs> oh crap! Now we're at a. Now we are at a bone mass. Damn. Damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, the definitely the lack of food, uh, or like, able to get like we don't have any stam potions, which would be another smart thing. I don't know why, but I just keep the not. Like, not having them. Oh, there we go. It was a good shot. I made some more arrows, too. Uh, just because, I mean, they're crappy wood arrows. But, whatever. If they hit, they hit. And that little bit of extra poison damage is, is awesome. So, Okay, where these one stars went, couldn't really tell you. I mean, the village looks relatively empty now. Oh, up there's one. Did it see me? So hopefully there's flax here. We're gonna, we definitely need more more flax, more barley. Uh, I didn't bring much. Like I said, I brought, I think, 20. That's all we have. Can I just shoot you from here? Yeah, there's the one star. Give me the sneak attack. Oh, I'll take that. That's some good damage. There we go. There's one down.
Oh, there's a shaman in here. We weren't prepared for him. Alright, you're dead. Alright, so there's a one star and a shaman. I don't know the one star, I have no idea where he went. Yeah, the shaman doesn't stand a chance. Oh, maybe that, that hurt. <laughs> Alright. Is that everybody? Now, I was also told in my comments that these uh, drop like we should break these to get uh what do you call it um hides but i think it's only deer hides that you get i'm gonna try it uh but if it's only deer hides i mean we've got i've got lots but i mean we guys have more okay we got lots of metal out of this at least look at all the chests Ooh, what's that barley a little bit of barley okay look at all the chests here a little bit more but i don't see a f oh i almost looked right past it okay so it's more barley we need flax Okay, so this this place is pretty much pretty much taken over. So what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna go. I want to do like some more investigating through this plains. We have a huge plains here. I want to go investigate this area <clears throat> and maybe up to Yagleth. We'll show you guys maybe like what we'll boat over here. Maybe show you guys that area a bit. Cause I think I did see a camp like right here. Um, but I want to get some more flax and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna start setting up a a base. Because I think we're going to be like desperate need for this pretty soon. Um, actually, you know what? I might even start doing flax now. Just in a small little area. And then hopefully it'll grow by the time we come back. So let's do that. And then we'll... Uh... Alright, so I'm back at base here. Let's check out these cloud berries. So uh, I have 30 that I collected when I was out in the, in the plains to the south. And so what this gives us now, uh, it'll give us... Fire resist potions, which are cool. Obviously, we're gonna need that when we go to like Ashlands or whatever later. That's gonna be like the fiery, the fiery zone. Um, blood pudding. Now this is thistle, blood bags, and four flour, which I've got 20 flour from last episode still. Um, this gives us 90 health and 50 stam. That's pretty awesome. Um, obviously, we can do carrot soup, but that's we haven't really grown carrots and stuff yet. Uh, fish wraps. I think I've got two cooked fish, which are these are awesome. 60 and 90 is pretty sweet. That's a lot of stamina, I really like that. But catching fish in this game is such a pain in the ass that I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, and then locks meat, uh, 80 and 80. Do we have locks meat? I think we have like a few. So I can do a couple locks meat pies. Um, we've got some thistle, oh, I've got two fish. And I've got a couple of blood bags. So we can do some blood pudding. What else we got, anything else? Not really. A little bit of barley there. I could make into more bread. Uh, into more or whatever. <clears throat> so let's do... Obviously, let's do the fish wraps. Because we've only got one of them. But whatever. Uh, let's cook up this lox meat. How many is that going to give us? Uh, okay, well, that'll give us three lox meat pies. I mean, so let's give us a little bit better food. A little bit better idea of what we're going to get into endgame. Which means we gotta start killing locks. Now, we can tame a locks, but you can't breed them yet. At least as far as I know, they haven't implemented that yet. So, taming them really isn't even worth it. And at least I don't understand why you would tame them, unless you wanna do it just for the future, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that much food. Uh, I got just one blood pudding and a couple of locks pies, because we ran out of uh, barley, so or flour. So, I turned what we had for barley into flour, but now we're definitely gonna need more. More. What the hell? Oh, okay, that wasn't like expected. I'm trying to do some gardening, dude. Come on. So this is that one dude we left earlier. Apparently, let's deal with him. Jeez. Okay. Uh, so let's let's plant this stuff. Hopefully, there's no more guys just kicking around here. Let me just cultivate this. Uh, flax. I don't know how, like, some of these have to be so far away from each other, so let's just make sure we got a good distance here. Uh, that way, hopefully, by the time we come back, 
we'll have some of this grown and hopefully we find more. Barley. Flax? Barley. Damn. I mean, we're gonna need we're gonna need this as well, but because we plant what we have, like at least we'll it'll uh multiply, I think. I think you get like one or two like our chance for more for every planted one, I think, I hope. Otherwise I don't really know how to duplicate it. Uh we'll just take all this for now. We're gonna need it. You know, we're not doing too bad actually. We've got over six, we got sixty-seven black metal already from just those two apple camps and what I've been doing running around here which is pretty crazy. Uh, we got 88 barley, but no more flax. Uh, we've also got the berserker head, which I haven't had this one yet. That's pretty cool. So what I think we need to do now, uh, our flax is growing. So what I want to do, we need like everything. We need to forge everything, which means I need, I need everything. We don't have any cores, like certain cores. We don't have any of that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to run over this way. This island is pretty much done. There was the camp uh, here. Uh, the main one here, and then there was like a little, uh, whatever, one of those towers over here. Let's run through here. Let's go through the swamp. Uh, I think we can run across right in these areas. So let's check that out. If we can make it across, let's see if there's some uh, some crypts. We won't open them, open them right now, but let's just make sure we can see them. And then let's go over towards Yagleth and see if we can get one or two more camps with uh, some flax. I'd like to get about 50 going, uh, and then uh, we'll come back. I want to make sure that we get building today on just a basic, even if it's just a greenhouse. But I want to get this stuff kind of started to be cleared out. Maybe we'll start making a house in here. Or I'm not sure if we want to keep these buildings and just repurpose them. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. So I don't want to tear them down quite yet. Uh, and I don't know. Wow. Oh, okay. So these guys are going to keep spawning. I want to know how to stop them from spawning if they can. Like, I don't know if they're going to spawn in the encampment or not. Uh, it's all healthy. Okay, so. I hope they stop sp uh, spawning in this camp once I rip it down. Because we're definitely going to destroy this thing, I think. I didn't even see you. This is a super nice view right here. I really, I really like this. We got like a tiny little mountain behind us, and this crazy like river thing dividing the plains, and then there's uh, Yagwas Altar there. Uh, you can see it looks like a giant hand coming out of stone coming out of the ground. You can see like, it's like a fingernail on there. Super cool. I really like the way this altar is. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is I want to run this way. There's some blocks over there, and I think there's a camp that way. But uh, I want to go see what's over here, and oh, that's right. Have a seat. Of course, there's more than one. Um, I want to see what else is over here. And I want to see if we can get where... Come on, buddy. Come on. Ow. I don't like that you can't attack, like, on the upward, like... If you're going down a hill, you can't attack up. It's super annoying. All right. Just, just, just attack us. Okay, hit me, and then I can just click that. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, you're mad. Okay, fine. Why? Why are you mad, bro? Stupid locks. All right, we got a pretty decent sized camp here. It looks big. It's got uh, double bonfires. So it looks like it's pretty big. I'm just trying to see if maybe I can see if there's flax I can like just maybe run, like run into. I, I don't really want to fight these places right now because it just it's a long ways from home. And if we die, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get back here. But I can't. I don't think I can get close enough to tell if it's flax or not. Be right there. Oh, they see me. I wasn't planning on killing this entire village, but uh, I guess I guess things have happened and it's, it's done now. There's one more guy, two more guys, three more guys. There's more guys than I thought. <laughs> nice. So looks like our flax is all all done here. It's all grown. Okay. So do we get? Looks like we get two each. Which, if that's the case, I guess we don't really need to go find more. Uh, I didn't find any in that village. Uh, I just looked around and then came back, went back, repaired our stuff. I went and made more food. So I got a few more lox meat. I used all that, uh, the barley we had. Um, I made a couple more blood blood pies. And then, uh, okay, so I gave us 34. And I think we had 21. So yeah, so it's not a bad return. Oh, lox has spawned right here. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so that will be... I wonder if we should, like... I don't want to, like, pen them, but... Because, like, you can't... I mean, you can tame them, but what's the point? Uh, I don't know what the best thing is to do with them, but I also, I don't know a bad, like the best way to kill them. Like, I am terrible at killing those things. And I'd like to figure out, like, a better way to do it. Uh, there's gotta be, like, a quick, easy way. Maybe sneak up on them and just, like, stab them or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead. I'm gonna replant. Do I replant it right here? Probably, I guess. This isn't a bad spot. We can do, like, a greenhouse type thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to replant this right here for now, and then I think what we're going to do is I'm going to come start doing some building, and we're going to see if we can do like a, like a greenhouse. I'm not sure exactly yet, but... Well, obviously, this is just the start of the new base, but we've got a few things going here. we got the flax planted, and you can see it's a really cool-looking color when it's growing. Uh, I don't know why it's blue like this, but it looks awesome. I think this is really cool. Uh, we've got some barley planted down here. I brought our windmill over from the swamp. We've taken over this building. And I kind of just made it like a temporary workshop for now. So we've got an artisan table I brought over. Uh, we built the smeltery outside from the cores we gathered. So I was able to smelt some copper to make a forge. And we can start upgrading this stuff now so we can actually start um, building our base around here. I've got tin we can smelt now so we can start doing uh, some cooking out here and everything. And then we can just get going basically our portals here. And everything is here we need to get going now. So we can start really doing some work to this area and really making this into an actual living space. I think it's going to be awesome. So we have lots to do, though. 
But for now, guys, I'm going to call an episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like button. If you don't subscribe, make sure you do so. And as always, I'll see you next time.